welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeff from Picture Time, and again, I'm here with my father-in-law, Tim. Say hi, Tim. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> Mix it up every time. Try to. You know, I apologize. We haven't been around very much. You know, we get busy enjoying the summer here in Minnesota, and we just... And Wisconsin. Yeah, in Wisconsin. Yes. Yeah. And I've been so busy traveling with work and doing client projects, I haven't exactly. really gotten to the YouTube channel, so apologize. For those of you who have been following along on our 1931 Model A Woody Wagon build, Thanks for hanging in there. And as you can see, we're standing amongst Manila Brown painted parts. You got it, right. You've been busy. It, well, been very busy. Well, we first of all started out with getting the fenders done. We did all the black pieces, fenders, the, the uh, splash aprons, the front apron. And that uh, took a lot of work, right? You it had did. To, they needed a lot of body work, right? They did need a lot of body so work. So you took, you took and did body work on them filling, sanding, and then tell them about the guide coat. And then we, we had this friend, Mike, that helped us with this. Tell, tell us about that. Right, Mike uh, Sperry was just an extreme help on this situation. He, he had a body shop for his entire career. And then he uh, retired and bought a paint store instead. And so now he's selling paint, but also does, does a little body work on the side. So I became, I've become friends with him over the years, and he's also related to some other friends. Anyway, so I asked him if he could just sell me the paint. He said yes, I, he could. And he, but we also had paint that we got with the car when we went down to McAllen to pick it up. That's right, Tim which had worked some, out great. Uh, some of this Manila paint is from Tim. Isn't it, it is. Yeah. This is all from Tim. Yeah. yeah, and also some black we could use, but he used some other black in, for the fenders. But anyway, so I asked him, could you just guide me in the process because I have not done full-time body work and I like doing it. So he said, yeah, I can guide you. So he guided me through each step and how to do everything right. And so we got everything filled and, and true. And uh, then I asked him if he could, he could do the painting for me uh, and do the final the final sand and the final paint. On the fenders. Anyways. On the fenders, yeah. yeah. On the fenders, yeah. yes. So he did that and the fenders turned out amazingly well. Look at these fenders. Oh, man. Oh, thanks. Beautiful. Wow. Happy white, happy white. Oh, that's that's the, amazing. That is, that is the state. You know, last week, around the 4th of July weekend, right. yeah. we, we got to go to Mike's shop and just seeing the fenders for the first time. Oh, it's like, oh exciting. man, this thing exciting. is coming together. <laughs> yeah, it's just the, the paint, it's hard to even show it on the camera, but the yeah. paint's like 10 feet thick, it looks like. Boy, you can you can yeah. see yours, you could shave. You yeah. know, in the, yeah, And in the old cars, they didn't use two-stage paint. No, right. they, they dip the paint, as I understood. They dip yeah. the fenders and uh, let the, let it drip where it may, you know, and uh, it was pretty rough, but it, it was fast. But you use a primer, a sealer, a guide coat, sand, 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 sealed, and then painted black, and then he cleared it, and then cut and buffed it. Exactly, exactly. And it just turned out so Turned good. out well. Yeah. So I can't say enough good about Mike. He just did yeah. a fantastic job with us here. So, so yeah, obviously, great. from where we left you last time, we had dis we had mocked up the car, we had disassembled everything, and as we as we said last time, we needed to get the black parts done first so we could start getting those on the car. Right. And then we can start putting the wood body together, and then the last piece was finishing the body work on what you see here around us. Right. Uh, and getting that painted, and then you're going to have Mike help us finish this up with clear too, right? Right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting the gas tank on, and around the gas tank there's a, a black welt that goes on, and also the hinges for the front doors also go on, and there's a black welt that goes on there. And uh, so all the gas tank and, and welting and everything will be going on first, some window trim also, and then uh, Mike will do the final coat of paint, of Manila, and then he'll also sand out, and we will do the, the clear coat at, at the, at, after that, and, and buff it and shine it up. So it'll look yeah. out, it'll look really good. So and a lot of these parts were in pretty good shape, they but were. I know you did some work on the cowl, right? Tell us about you had to weld in some uh, right. panels at the right. bottom, right? The bottom was was rusted out, so I needed to replace that. And one of the f feet were was bad on the left side, so I had to replace that. We had another cowl, so I was able to take that lower piece out and and put in put in a new piece there, and it was it worked out great. Great. Looks like brand new now. Looks like brand new. It's yeah. primed, and now you've got the first or second coat of color on it. You're gonna hit that with some really light sandpaper just to smooth that out, and then we're actually gonna clear over. Exactly. This paint. And Mike right. said that was fine, right? Oh, it works great. He's going to use What kind of paint the... are we using just for those that might be curious? Right. Well, we're using a, an acrylic lacquer for this, but then we're going to be using a, 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 a urethane uh, clear coat, which works out great. And that's what he did on the fenders as well. He used the urethane with the urethane clear coat. But here we're using the acrylic lacquer and then the urethane clear coat on top of that, which isn't a problem. It works great. Okay. Yeah. Well, so the next phase of this project will then be to finish up 
the clear coat and we're gonna cut and buff these manila brown parts. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is the front part of the car. Right. And yep. you, I know I saw the hood uh, the hood in your car too. You still got some work to do on that. I still hood, need right? to do some uh, blocking on that, right? Yeah. Yep. But that'll and come then together. The fenders are done, the skirts are done. Uh, they look so good. We're gonna get those mounted and then you've started to paint and finish the wood too now, right? Tell me about what you've been doing to the wood. Well, we got the floor all finished, that's black. And then uh, th there's two quarter panels in the back that hold the back of the uh, car together and that holds the roof. So that's all done. And then we have the roof all, all ready to go as well. And we got the tailgate ready and all the trim pieces that go on, on there, the hinges and whatever. So the only thing we have to, left to do is the doors. I'm gonna wait until we get everything fit at the end and then I'll, I'll do the doors, but they're all done. Yeah. And what kind of material are you? It's like a varnish almost, but it's it, like a marine grade or something. It's called Epiphanes. It's, it's a varnish and it's for boats. It's for that you put on uh, on decks of the top quality boats. So. It looks like it reminds me of like an old Chris Craft. Yeah, something. exactly. That's the kind of paint they or varnish yeah. that they use on the Chris Craft boats. Yes, it's the top quality uh, boat paint. I got it from Marine Marine dealer. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's coming together as you can see. You know, we did miss Back to the 50s this year. You took the uh, the sedan to Back to the 50s instead. But we're getting close, and I know that Tim Johnstone's family's been watching along on this, right? Yes, and... Uh, so what's our new deadline? Well, Christy is coming in the middle of September. She does a tour of the northern part of the U.S., and she swings through Rice Lake, Spooner, uh, Siren, and she wants to swing by and go for a ride in the, in the Woody Wagon and go out for some ice cream. It'd be fun. I think we promised her in that McAllen video, the right. first video, if you haven't watched the series, go back and watch the first one when we picked up the car. Right. We promised her that when it was all done, we'd take her for a ride and get some ice cream. Exactly. She's and looking gonna, forward to it. Tim is a man of his word. Yes, there you are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so again, uh, thank you for bearing with us on this project and for following along. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Please do it. Please like the videos and share. It's a shameless plug, but it's, it's actually how YouTube uh, calculates the algorithms for these things and, and promotes it and so other people can find them. So exactly. thank you for following along and liking and, and sharing with uh, those that might be interested. Stay tuned, we're gonna have some exciting updates between now and uh, Labor Day. Mid-September. Mid Mid-September, mid we're hoping to have this thing all buttoned up, so. Exactly. Exciting. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.